guys, how's it going on? My name is Luis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is November 5th, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, the Holy Land Minister says that dropping a NUKE on the strip is an option. The weapon of the apocalypse. The Holy Land Prime Minister said, has condemned the statement made by his you know who this morning that the atomic was an option for the strip, with Benjamin stating, the words of the minister are disconnected from reality. The Holy Land and the IDF are acting according to the highest standards of international law in order to prevent harm to those not involved. And we will continue to do so until victory. All right, so basically he's saying we're not gonna be dropping no NUKE. It ain't gonna happen. But guys, these last couple of weeks, ever since October the 7th, you have uh, some of these people saying, hey, we should drop the, the Jericho, or we should drop this nuke, or we should drop this or that. So in their minds, they just want to finish off the strip and say, just drop uh, uh, the big one, which again is the N-U-K-E. Benjamin, uh, he's surrounded by these people. The same people that want to use N-U-K-E. Benjamin is like, we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be, you know, dropping all this type of powerful stuff and one thing i tell you guys doing this is not going to lead to peace doing this mm -mm. all right so give me a second here uh given the volume of explosive already dropped on aza it exceeds the explosive power guys these last couple of days, I've been posting videos about these powerful stuff that they're building. And I just posted a video yesterday, and I'm going to leave the link in the comments box. The Sleeping Giant, the U.S., the Sleeping Giants are working on a very powerful NUKE that's 24 times more powerful than what they drop in this territory. And they are saying that uh, that new powerful NUKE could literally take out 300,000 in the bear capital, Moscow. All right, let's see what's going on here. If you can, please share the video and God bless every single one of you. I'm praying that every single one of you are having a blessed weekend. Enjoy this day. Uh, stay in the word of God. Stay in prayer. And uh, just, you know, put on the whole armor of God. Things... Things look pretty tough nowadays, but again, with Christ, eternal peace is with you. All right, so the Holy Land Minister, I'm going to skip the name, said dropping the big NUKE on the strip is an option. Not ready. Okay, so he said that dropping the NUKE on the strip is an option, given the volume of, okay, I'm going to skip that one. So asked, in a radio interview about a hypothetical NUKE option, he replied, that's one way his remark made headlines in Arab media and scandalized mainstream the Holy Land broadcasters. So neither this person or his party leader are is, give me a second here guys, these words are really small, are in the steam line uh, ministerial forum, the war cabinet, running the strip war. Neither would they have inside knowledge of the Holy Land nuclear capabilities, which it does not publicly acknowledge, or the power to activate them. Now, this person's statements are not based in reality. The Holy Land and the ID blank military are operating in accordance with the highest standards of international law to avoid harming uh, innocent ones. We will continue to do so until our victory. Mr. Benjamin office said. Now we don't wanna see, uh, we don't wanna see a 1945. 
We don't want to see a 1945. Let's see what Turner had to say here. I am almost a pop, uh, a pop um, at this remark by the minister. It is unclear to me which is worse, his remark, or the reality that his land has dropped more conventional explosives on the strip than the explosive power of his regime and UKE and the Holy Land still isn't winning. Can any of us imagine a military that is so ineffective that we'll have to resort to using a NUKE against an enemy that has no army? All right, so a lot of this stuff here, I'm going to have to skip, guys. I think this remark by the minister shows a gigantic, deep-seated, severe, uh, men, you know what, uh, win at all costs, no matter what. It's just not the answer. You got so many innocents. You got so many young ones. And the first thing you want to think, well, just drop an N-U-K-E and just finish off the strip. And then we will live happily ever after. Everything will be fine. The world will be a better place. The world will be a better place. You know, one thing I tell you when I was a young one, and I still believe like this. Why do humans build these type of stuff? The Armageddon powerful stuff. Why? What's the point of making powerful stuff like that? And then when you grow up, it's a fallen world. Sin. Sin. All right. Give me a second here, guys. Once again, very concerning information coming out. Uh, concerning dropping the big N-U-K-E. Um, give me one second here, guys. I want to give an update about this story here that just came out. You have the sleeping giant secretary waits to board a helicopter on a tarmac upon arrival en route to meeting Iraq uh, Prime Minister. Uh, International Airport in that region, November 5th, 2023. And, yep, got the vest, got everything. Now, I did talk about that in a video uh, I posted last night. So, it's very important, guys, to please share the video. Once again, we have more information coming out. The strip is still being heavily struck with airstrike tonight by the Holy Land Air Force. I don't think they're going to drop the big NUKE. I just, I just don't see that happening. And I, I pray that uh, it doesn't happen. But uh, I do believe that uh, one day there will be uh, big breaking news. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, there's a possibility it might happen in that great city, Jerusalem. Or it might happen to Bear Capital. Sleeping Giant Secretary of State has already departed from that region follow, following a very quick meeting with Ryrak official regarding the ongoing situation in the region. He was only on the ground in Ryrak for maybe two to three hours. All right. Once again, just giving you updates. Very important person out there. Very important.
I want to bring some of this stuff here, guys. Give me a second. Let's go back with this story. So you have the... Uh, which one is this? Um, this here is a different story. It was posted not too long ago. Saudi condemns in the strongest terms possible that the, you know what, remarks by the Holy Land Occupation Gulf Minister. Oh, uh, this is the same story about uh, dropping a nuke. Uh, minister regarding dropping a NUKE on the besieged strip, which shows the, the true colors, the brutality among members of the Holy Land Gov. Saudi is like, hey, if you got people like that in your cabinet, we're not going to be talking about peace. We're definitely not going to be talking about peace. The kingdom of Saudi condemns in the strongest term possible that the you know what remarks by the Holy Land Occupation Gov minister dropping an NUKE on the strip, which shows the true colors and brutality among members of the Holy Land Gov. Moreover, not dismissing the minister from the Gov immediately and only freezing his membership uh, constitutes. Uh, the utmost uh, disregard for all human and religious morals, values, and legal norms by the Holy Land Gov. <whistles> that came out 1.36 p.m. It came out an hour ago. Yeah, that's, uh, that's brutal right there, guys. Saudi is not pleased. Saudi is not pleased with this dude. What he said. Once again, the Holy Land Prime Minister said that uh, they're not going to be dropping our NUKE. They're not going to be dropping that. He's out of touch with reality. Basically, uh, his anger is getting the best of him. When you deal with, uh, when you are in that position of spotlight, when you become king, leaders, or presidents, or prime minister, you got to control your feelings. You cannot let your anger take over. This dude right here is frustrated, anger, and that's not how you, uh, uh, um, that's very unprofessional, put it like that. There's always talking, there's always, uh, you know, coming together, dialoguing, but, uh, if you let your feelings get the best of you, yeah. Well, you guys know the rest of the story. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep it updated when it comes to this story. Please share the video. There's a lot of talks when it comes to NUKE. There's a lot of mad, mad, mad people out there. And uh, we are seeing that uh, various places. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. But he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.